<laughs> They're just staring at us. Mm. It's so cute. We're here today at Homeland Creamery, which is about an hour away from home um, for a field trip, for a homeschool field trip. So we're going to go on a little tour and then we're going to eat some what? Ice cream. Are you excited? <laughs> then in the 1930s, they got a few more cows and they um, started to milk by hand. They would just sell to a few neighbors here and there. And then that kind of got more popular, so they got a few more cows. And then the 1940s, they built their first milking parlor. And then in the 1980s, they built a bigger milking parlor. And then in 2000, they um, started building the creamery because they had to either get thousands of cows, which they didn't have enough land for that, um, or they had to start making a product to sell. Um, most small farms like this, they send their milk to a processing plant that pasteurizes and homogenizes and bottles all of it. But here they actually do everything to their milk right there in that facility. And from there it goes out to be sold. So um, they're very unique in that and they, you know, there are not many at all that would do that. We have, when they're born, we have this little paste that we put on the tubs and it just stops the horns from growing. And that way we don't have to worry about what. So if you guys want to go ahead and load up on the hay ride. We so have that. Out here you see a bunch of whole seeds. Yeah. Black and white. And they're the most common type of dairy cow. Yeah. Um, because they produce the most honey. I'll let you pass it around and look at it. But we do ultrasounds of all the mama cows. And this tells us, yes, she's pregnant. And it'll show us if it's a boy or a girl. So we know what to expect if we're going to have to, you know, sell the boy or if we're going to keep the girl and take care of it. Or, um, and it also gives us a really close idea of the due date. So we want to know when she's going to have that baby so that we can move her in. Machines. It has four hands, right? So it's got four 
vacuums that suck out the milk and she has four teats. We've only got two cans. So this would be a lot more efficient than our two cans. Um, it gets the milk out a lot quicker and it actually does a better job at getting all the milk out. If y'all want to look at it, you can feel the inside. It's squishy. And what rises to the top of the milk? So we take the cream and um, use it, and then if it's whole milk, we put 3.5% of the cream back in there. Can I, um, and video? So that's how much fat is in the whole milk, it's 3.5%, and then we homogenize it. Let's homogenize. You know what that is? It's when they shake it up so that the cream and the milk don't separate anymore. That way it's consistent throughout. Because when you get a jug of milk out of the refrigerator, does it have cream, chunky cream at the top? Does it, does it? That's because we homogenize. And then pasteurize. What do we, what's pasteurize mean? Anybody know what pasteurize means? Um, in our farm, the Bowman Dairy Farm, they um, believe in bat pasteurizing their milk. And there's a difference between ultra pasteurized, which is what you get when you go to the store. Um, if you look on the label, then it most likely is going to say ultra pasteurized. That means they heat it up to 280 degrees and it kills pretty much everything in the milk. All bacteria, um, it kind of distorts the nutrients in the milk so that they're not doing you much good, like proteins and all that. So, um, we got pasteurize our milk and that just heats the milk up to 150 degrees and it leaves a lot of the good bacteria that your body needs in the milk. That is so cool. Hey, you're probably about to That was a lot of fun. Ew, I can't Good. Good. Is this what you've waited for all day? <laughs> this is why I woke up this morning. <laughs> Not me. So good. Is this your best day ever? Are you cold? I'm cold. All right. Well, can y'all finish up our video for us today? So see you next time. See you next, next time. time. See you next time. <laughs> So cute.